company and the total register for patents is more than 100 million. Are we, and uh, the total assets is nearly 600 million. And we have three uh, the wholly owned subsidiaries in the division. But one is located in Tianjin, is Tianjin Sunbu Pipe uh, Company Limited, which is located in Tianjin, Binghai, New Areas. This company is very, very convenient when we to do the escrow business because it's very near to the Tianjin port. So most of our foreign and important escrow business will happen in this fact. In this uh, company. The second is a uh, simple import export to trading company. Trading company is located in Sichuan, is located in, uh, in, in here in, in my company. So actually, this company is just doing the trading. And the, the trading items is uh, the main uh, related with uh, construction material, but also we can do some trading for the for the manufacturing materials and for the machines and tools and the raw materials and clothing and shoes and the toys and each kind of the uh, scope. And this one is the uh, Sichuan Engineering and Construction uh, Limited Company, which is also located here. This company is very special because uh, we allocate some of the, you know, the pipeline projects and uh, projections and uh, we all, some of, most of the engineers in this team, they are very, very talented and have so much expertise, knowledge in the, the, the pipeline, the, the manufacturer and construction. So they will give the other end user or the customers more details about the uh, layout or the suggestion. They will give them the, the further trainings for the, uh, for the workers and uh, or before the engineering embark on. So the, we, we will invite them, we will engage in this um, part of company. And the total areas of these three companies is, uh, account for uh, achieve to uh, 160, uh, more than 160 uh, thousand square, uh, square meters. And uh, by the way, we have uh, five modernized and, uh, work, uh, workshop and which equipped with more than 30 of production, uh, international production line for the pipelines and pipe beams. And also we got a uh, try for a set of uh, the, the production line for the pipe beams. And uh, the total capacity of uh, uh, our companies for, uh, the, for the pipeline can shift to more than 120,000 uh, tons. So after so many years, industries and uh, hard working, I'm coming to see a lot of the, uh, the you know, owners and also the, uh, the, the appraisers by our company and those, uh, by our customers and for the government. And, uh, uh, now here, we can give you, please, assistant, please help me to remove this. Um, on this and uh, we can, the, we can, I can show you the more details about the, the, my company's stress. For example, this one is an enterprise credit evaluation, which is required by the China Plastic Processing Industry Association. It's, uh, it's the top three, it's uh, top, top level, top is the level, it's the 3D level. It means our country is really, really uh, paying much attention to the credit to the credit level. Now we got the three A, this is the highest level. And this one is uh, the national, the top 10, uh, the quality and the integrity demonstration enterprises, which is also authorized by the China, uh, the National uh, Quality Testing Association. So and this one is the top 10 and uh, excellent and, uh, uh, enterprises, which is paying much attention to the technical innovation development, which is created uh, by the uh, Sichuan the province. Now here we can say we have the patent and uh, we pay much attention to the, the methodology, the patent and the uh, advantages. So this is also created by the national. And this one also is the same as, as this one. And uh, here we can see we have the uh, we got to the, we pay much, our customer, we, 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 our company have to pay much attention to the, um, to the uh, research and development. We invest a lot of money on that, and we also invest, uh, instead of the long 
relations a long lasting and cooperative, cooperative integrity relationship with the Sichuan University. So here we can see it's uh, post and doctor uh, 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 station, workstation with Sichuan University. So, so, so we hired some, uh, some of the expertise in this field, in the pipeline manufacturing, in this field, in the materials field, which we can uh, provide us with the long term and technical support for the new products and uh, innovation and research. Okay, so let's take a close look at this one. It's uh, some uh, certificate of our com company's products. Now, for example, this two label is uh, Sichuan, the screen label for the uh, construction materials and uh, certificate. That means uh, our company is very, uh, pay much attention to the environmental friendly and energy saving. And our product is totally free from toxic and cycled materials. Now here we can see it is uh, it's for the PP high for water supply, and this is for the PR high for cold and hot water. And uh, also we have some the uh, manufacturer executive standard, and uh, now we can have a close look at it. And this one is uh, for the, the the Sichuan province. This. Uh, Two certificates means our company's products, especially for the PE pipes for water supply, they can, they are definitely um, in accordance with uh, China's and uh, san sanitation manufacturer uh, the standard, and uh, which means uh, all the water transfer from our company's products, uh, they are totally safe. And this one is for, it uh, means and uh, we are. Uh, very uh, uh, um, good number for the, you know, the, the association for the plastic uh, pipeline association. And um, this one is uh, is a national, our Chinese national, you know, uh, accredited uh, company, uh, um, which testify our company is uh, top ten and pipeline manufacturer here in China. And uh, and this. It's for the pipeline. It's for the pipeline and also for the pipe feedings. And uh, that means that it's a production license for special requirements of People's Republic of China. So this one is a top a five star, five star after sales service and uh, certificate. Because we also pay much attention to the after sales service. We got and uh, we set up the more than thirty three and uh, branches here, uh, branches here in China. So we, if we have the, our customer have some problems already with our products and uh, the branches and the uh, colleagues or the, 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 the related workers will, will help the customer solve the problems. So we do a very excellent job on the after sales service. We got, we win a five star and uh, license and certificate here. And this one is a certification of the compliance it's for the Say he certificate is for now. Here we can see this very clearly, and uh, it's a sample pipe, it, which means our company, and it's the uh, company's address and certificate number and testing report, and uh, some models. Some models means uh, which kind of the product diameter is it's mainly about the diameter the DN116 to DN100 uh, or 1200. And uh, it's uh, it's just uh, it's one for the gas supply, another for the water supply. And this one is the CNES. CNES is the China National Accreditation and uh, uh, Laboratory, which means we have gained a national uh, certificate and uh, laboratory to testify to testify the raw materials when we import the raw materials from the uh, petrochemical, you know, the refinery. And when we after after our production, we will also do the, you know, the um, the testing before we deliver it to our customers' hand. So it is. Uh, uh, I will give you the further details and uh, uh, introduction about our laboratory in the next few days. Uh, this is a CQC is an environmental management system uh, uh, certificate. Uh, you know, the report is accredited by the China Quality Ratification Center. So it's very, very good testament for our call.
products quality. And this one it is for the health, occupational health and the safety management system, the ratification certificate, which means our products in our process and uh, we will not and uh, uh, you know the process will not do harm to our you know our workers and uh, on the production line. So this uh, the also have the national standards which was marked here. And uh, this one is uh, what we felt that, uh, when we asked for our products to Australia. So this oceanic mark and certificate, Sichuan Simple Pipe, is for the conduit in the system by cable management, the particular requirement to reach the conduit system. So here is uh, some of our, you know, the mainly certificate of our company's products. And next, I will give you the further details about our samples. Now we will start from this one. This is a huge one. Now here we can see it is uh, it is called. Now we can give a close look at it. It has the three layer, and for the first one, the first layer is this PE products. It's a PE materials, and in the inner side of it is the steel belt which will take it effective to reinforce its strength piece. And inner side of it is a, is a PE, right? It's a PE material, but actually uh, it can undertake a more higher, it's a higher pressure compared with this one. So this one is to sustain the higher pressure, and this one is just a, also, is the same you know, structure compared with this, but. This one is not contain the steel belt reinforced part. So this one is mainly for uh, the ventilation, the drainage, and sewage. Now here we can uh, see the specification about the double work, PE double work corrugated pipe. The executive and uh, manufacturer standard is GB. GB means National Standard Dash T one nine four seven two point one. It's just a uh, it's a national standard uh, which uh, give the further you know, specification the uh, manufacturer's details and uh, for the P products, the corrugated pipelines and part one, the corrugated part a P corrugated and uh, pipeline manufacturer. Now here the features of this problem it is uh, the mainly relies on five parts. First that is the it's very light and it's very high steel stiffness. Which maintain, which should just rectify, you can, which here can uh, testify, you can sustain the higher pressure. And second, that is, uh, it's very light because the solid is very convenient for the transformation. It's not very, very, uh, it's not very, uh, you know, the, the, the weight to compare with PE pipe. So it's very easy for the workers to do tra transportation. So it, uh, the working period, the transportation period will be shot, uh, will, shot will be shot largely, and the total the comprehensive expenses for the transportation will be very low. And third, that is the, the inner side of the pipe is very smooth, so it will not stop, and so the, the flat rate, the liquid the through it will be not, will not, you know, um, stop, and uh, the flat rate, the, the fluid, the fluid and the unstructured will, will be high enough. A third one, it is anti corrosion, and uh, it, we don't need to pay more, much energy on the, to, to do the, you know, to, to, to remove the, 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 you know, the garbage, garbages in the inner side of it. A third, last one, it is uh, it's have the flexible. You know the connection parts in pipe feed, so we have a very very good performance and the anti uh, sediment and, uh, and even sediment, so it will not very easy to leakage. So the, the main application for this pipe relies on the the manufacturer, the municipal um, production project such as uh, the municipal the drainage and sewage and. Uh, the rainwater collection and uh, trans uh, the water supply and ventilation, and also for the uh, electronic and the telegram, and, uh, you know the, the the project because it can also take effective to protect the 
the wires or the cables or some uh, digital you know cables and the conduit protection and third one is for the industrialized industrial because this kind of material this PE material is have a very very better performance for the any corrosion and alkali and uh, any corrosion resistant and so the double work corrugated pipe which can be right, very widely used in the agriculture the oak chart and the tea garden and uh, other kinds of the agricultural irrigation and also we can use in the rural areas and uh, improvement and, uh, for their uh, water supply system and last one it is, uh, is for the some uh, project for the for the roads and uh, projects for example for the golf course and uh, irrigation pipes and, uh, under the ground now here is also the Sea belt and the reinforced the PE the power will corrugated pipe, not just like this one. I just uh, show because we don't have enough space for the sample demonstrate, so now it's realized here. Now, what we can see, we can manufacture this kind of the type, and uh, the nominal inside diameter, which we can manufacture, is from the 600 millimeter to 1500 millimeter, so we, we have a really the very good capability to manufacture this this kind of the pipe. We got several, several, several kind of the the, the, the pipes, and uh, but we, we cannot say one the well this pipe is better than this one because different pipes they have a different and uh, application areas. They have different and uh, application, you know, the features. So that's why when we do the when we have some customers, maybe the customer asks me, well. I need to know what kind of a products I need to choose, and uh, when we uh, in, when we have some of the new projects, and at the moment I will ask them questions and uh, what kind of the applications for your products you want to use. So this is why we got several, you know, types of the pipes, and uh, so we cannot show, we cannot say whether it's good or it's not bad. They just have the different uh, scope of the application. Now this one is for the what we can see is uh, it's a new type of the, or we can say it is improved, advanced in the type of the you know the uh, PE carpet or uh, PE pipes. For example, now we can give you a feel and uh, demonstration for it. You have the several layers for the most you know the work tube is made from uh, you know the PE pipe. So actually we can see they have got some sleeves here which will percolate the slurs or the mud in the inner side. So this one is a type of geo, uh, type, um, geo textile, geo textile and clothes, which can also percolate the mud or the slurs. And in the inner side of this regard, so it's a PU, also the same collect, same and effective. So this kind of huge is uh, mainly for using the golf curve course or the golf front and um, actually you know here in China not every country just like China or just like uh, some of the worlds they got enough water and yeah, most of the countries they are lack of the water so this one is uh, for the recycling of the water not only the municipal water but also for the rainwater when we collect the water we can resume it uh, we can drink and we can do the irrigation so in that case, this, this is really excellent, you know, the products here in my company. And this one, now let's take a look at this one. This is our best selling product here in my company because it's, uh, it's uh, our company is mainly to related with a municipal project. Now here we can see the features or, or the brief introduction about the PE pipes. The PE pipes, so the full name is the full ethylene pipes for water supply. And the simple pipe and uh, the raw material of this kind of pipe uh, is made from the PE80 or PE100. So the difference uh, between these two kind of materials just uh, because the PE100 and uh, they are blended in, in the uh, petrochemical, you know, the refinery. So before they come, uh, they send out to my company. So they have already branded well. So they have the maybe you have the. Uh, the better performance compared with PE80 because PE80 we got uh, we buy the raw materials PE and we buy the color uh, concentrate and then we blend it and uh, by a percentage of 100 percent with one five percentage so but I think uh, 
from my beginning because I, I already went to the blended uh, to the production line and I saw the whole process for the blended materials. But I think the because we have a very advanced and blender blended for the raw material. So the differences between the 100 and the P80 to P100 are very slightly. So now here we can see we got some force in on the surface of this, which is also for the mining and for this, uh, you know, the uh, mining process or for the sewage process. But for me, it's for sewage process, it's a little bit extravagant. And this one is also the different and the steep. It's, it's not whole, it's another type of the filtration way. It's uh, steeps. Now we got, uh, here we can see, please uh, give the close shot. It's, it will have uh, the, the bat, or we have the bat and the fusion here. Now, uh, in the following and, uh, five days, uh, I will also show you the whole process for this uh, two types of the connection way for the different materials and uh, for this, for our products. And also the different and diameter and different thickness and di different pressure level. So the features, uh, the advantage of this pipe is uh, because we never ever used uh, the one piece of the cycle material in our PE, especially for the water supply, we never ever use this kind of material because we pay much attention to the sanity and to the safety of the drinking water. We are the country, we are the company which pay much attention to the integrity and to the you know, responsibility. So because in China, so many of the manufacturers here in China, they, they want to they win the customers because they win the they, they add some the you know the cycle materials in the pipelines, especially for the water supply pipeline. That's what very very do that will do the really, really huge damages for our, you know, the people who are drinking water through it. So, but for us, we never add one piece of the waste materials. So, that means, because our raw materials is very, very good, so that we can guarantee the service life of our products is more than 50 years. And that is the, uh, also we have the, very good, excellent performance for the any corrosion, and uh, it uh, can resist uh, the low temperature. The lower temperature, the failure like lower temperature can reach to the minus 70 centigrade. degree. So they also they have a very reliable performance for the uh, for the for, for the chemical, and which we can uh, anti the, any corrosion, anti alkali, and uh, to do the. Uh, apply and uh, sort uh, resistant. Also, it have a very good performance for the flexibility and any uh, earthquake, earthquake. Because we we have some of our we have some customers and uh, uh, if you're in Sichuan, maybe you know in 1990, uh, 2008, there have a huge earthquake in which happened in Sichuan in Wenchuan. So at that time, uh, most of the you know the pipelines they crash or fly or the leakage, but in my company, uh, in, for our comp uh, customers and uh, who purchase our products uh, here in Simple, their products are uh, totally new, uh, totally, you know, the, uh, they were not correct or they were not leakage, so which we can testify, our company can also um, empty the earthquake. So the third one, that is uh, all our companies and uh, manufacturer, uh, according to the national standard T1719, uh, 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 is, this is the certificate national standard for the sanitation. So that means that all the finished food we manufacture it, we need to do it to the testament to testify it will not contain any, you know, the toxic or some bad materials in it if it contains. I think a laboratory tester will say it will test everything. So that means that, uh, because the raw material is really good, we will never use uh, the, the wrong, wrong things, so which we can test it, which we can guarantee. The end, the finished goods is also very worthwhile, the testament. And this one is uh, 
buried in the PE pipe for supply of gas fuels, now this one. Now here, maybe some of the customers will ask the questions, why the two, the two type of the products, they have the different colors for the strip. So this wire is it's for yellow, but it's for the, the, the raw material of this type is PE80, and this one, the orange one, so the raw material is the PE100. So this is the difference, and I, I just, uh, uh, I just um, explained the differences between these two types of materials. So, um, and this one is a PP dash R. Uh, PP uh, PP dash R. It's a uh, it's a product that's it's a totally different, you know, the material. The PP is polypropylene, and PP is polyethylene. So. Now we can see the, uh, the nominal oxide diameter of this product we can produce is from the 20 millimeter to 110 millimeters. So here we can see the nominal wall thickness and uh, the different and the pressure level, we have the different thickness. Okay. So the, it's just for the, I think the PP R pipes for hold and cold water insulation, it's just for the house uh, uh, construction. And uh, now this one, the pipe, uh, which we can sustain the temperatures under 20 uh, centigrade, and uh, the highest standard, uh, highest temperature, which, which we can sustain the 110, right? 110 uh, centigrade. And uh, it's very light and very good performance for the sanitation and corrosion, and uh, it has very performance, excellent performance for energy saving and resistant to a low uh, temperature and uh, also is the service life of this product is can reach to the 50 years. Now here is a uh, ball box now this one is this very huge um, this should be uh, open it with a special tool so it's, uh, it's very thick here we can get a close look out of it and uh, we can do the customer to according to the customer's requirements. And this one is uh, here. I want to give you a full uh, the the details about the product because this one when I attend when I used to attend the exhibition in South Africa and in you know India, most of the customers are so curious about this product. They say, "What's this?" Because before the innovation for this product, and actually we use the flange and the board, board boats and to connect the different kinds of materials from the different ends of the pipes. But actually this one, we have some of the deficiencies. For example, this one is the way to take it to the, you know, the construction site. When we do a connection, because the, the, it's, made, it's uh, ESO, installed by the different uh, workers. Maybe the workers not uh, pay much attention to the uh, specification about the in in installation. So the, the connection part will, you know, not reliable. And also for this one, it's uh, one part is, uh, is, is for maybe for PE or maybe for PPR. Another side is the steel. The each side and coefficient of the thermal expansion are totally different. So which means that uh, maybe they are uh, under a very high temperature, the expansion, you know, the some, uh, coefficient is different. So it will have a leakage or some explosion, especially when it's using the, uh, in the gas, uh, gas um, the fuels and transportation, it will have a very, maybe it will have a leakage or some dangerous. So that's the reason why we innovate this kind of the products. For example, for this one, because this one we were writing it before we deliver to our customers. So that means that uh, the connectivity, the performance can be guaranteed. So you don't worry, for example, that that one, maybe it will influence by different technical from the different and uh, uh, um, different and the workers. So this one you can testify from this point, the connection part you will not worry about. And from the left, the two side of the part, why? The one side we use a PE, if not a side you see, use the, you know, the, the, the steel, because, for example, we, we need to uh, connect the horse or some lawsuit, lawsuit from this part, we will 
uh, use the, well, we cannot use the, uh, the p types, the p materials of connection this part. So we choose the seal. And this price, and maybe the standard bond, we use the PE pipes. So we cannot use the steel to connect this part. So that's why we manufacture this kind of problem, which was very popular in our market. And also, according to our national standards and uh, all of the gas supply and transformation, uh, we, we can never ever use a plastic above the ground, uh, which we, we, we just used to the the steel pipe, uh, steel pipe uh, above the ground, uh, which we can guarantee our safety for human uh, kind in our houses. And this one here, I will uh, give you the further introduction about the different kinds of the pipe feedings. And, uh, this is the plastic and steel conversion pipe feeding, reducer, and T, and uh, equal T, and uh, Different kind of saddle, saddle fittings, and uh, now I give you more details. This one actually they're same materials, but the different color because we can do a customize. Because um, I think we need to pay much attention to a customer's demand. Maybe the demand, the color for some uh, what will we'll give somebody the, the notification. Well, it's very dangerous areas. And this one is also for the saddle. And this one, this part is a uh, is a tube pad, which to stop the fluid. We will give you the tube pad. And for this part, if you want to add another kind of tube from here, we will to to guide the to uh, guide the fluid from this pipe from this pipe and uh, to this pipe. I stop here. This is a reducer. You uh, can see it's a reducer. Uh, different kind of you actually by the way I can tell you that is because we are the manufacturer for the pipe and pipelines for more than twenty years so we can cover our, our production capacity can cover the four set of the the uh, the pipelines and uh, the pipe feedings and uh, it, it, the, the, for the different uh, the type of the atmosphere we can cover all set of it. Okay? So this one it is electric fusion and uh, pipe feeding, retrofusion pipe feeding. Because this one, I will give you the more details on another side of the, another the pipe plant uh, uh, sample room. This one is to connect to the different type of, but the prerequisite for this should be the, the different type of end of the product, this should be the same one, this should be the same material. They cannot be one side to the steel, now except the plastic, and just like some fun. I will give you a demonstration. For example, this one, we got a new pipe, another pipe here, and then in the inner side of it, maybe in the uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will guide you to the production line of the, on the electric um, fusion and for, um, the pipe feeding production uh, line. You will see how to manufacture it. In the inner side, it uh, each have the you know uh, a wire in a in a in a on the surface of it and the inner side of it. So. When we use it, we just open this cap and we, you know, to connect electricity from both sides. So here we've got two observation pore. So when the when you get ready, when the, you know it's melt, when the electricity here and this side will be melt, which means which can guarantee that the two sides of this and the pipes can connect it by the electric melt way. So at that moment, when you get ready you can see is extrusion part from this two type of the hole. Now here, okay, and this kind of pipe also of a uh, different kind of the, uh, you know, type, such as uh, this one is a sleeve, and sleeve, but uh, less, uh, smaller diameter, and uh, this is T, and, uh, you know, okay, this is the cap, it's a, it's a cap, it's a tube cap. Um, um, and this one is uh, it's uh, another type of the PBR. It's a PBR. But what I can show you, what I have to show you, this is a PE pipe, but this one is a PBR. It's, also, it's mainly for the you know the house and. The, Decoration or the house and construction uh, is uh, for the hot, hot and cold water. 
and uh, this one is uh, is a reduced about this uh, uh, is a is a male it's a female I'm sorry it's a it's a female it's a female um, the high feeding and uh, male feeding is just like this I don't get samples here but male feeding is, the the thread is on the surface of it a female is on the inner side of the surface of it so they can come home together so this is one it also really sound is very good successful and this one is uh, much smaller um this is also how amazing that oh it's dn dn 25 dn 25 and uh, 45 degree and these are several you know the raw new materials for our products but i'm not sure man. maybe for the you know the spawnage and the project and here is uh, some other you know the, the reducer or the the, the flange the or about ppr and uh, it's uh, for the p is uh, for the it's uh, for the conduit is for cable cable is d 110 p 100 the p products but they're totally different color because uh, some of customers they ask why they have the different color because maybe uh, they're not quite familiar with uh, you know the industrial and uh, instruction about the different and the usage for or the scope for the for the products and so uh, the white color is for the like uh, white color wire. Uh, is for the wire and orange orange for the cable. is for the cable so it's totally different and the application usage um but they are totally and they are the the materials of it they're saying they're 110 100 uh, p 100 and this one is the double world uh institution you know the uh, where is the pipe pipe uh, you see in my straight uh, i'm sorry 30 60 straight but uh, there the difference between actually the the materials from this two side these two pipes and they are totally same but they got two layers uh, according to the customers requirement because then um, regular customers they need the surface of it should be blue or should be black or should be orange but they just uh, add the different the colors of the mod, uh, the color to concentrate so actually the products and quite uh, the material they are totally the same and this one is uh, the thermal uh, the thermal and, and, and the pipes pipelines which we can divide into three parts the near side is we all uh, the many use it to, for the spring transformation uh, trans, uh, transportation and uh, for uh, the, in the rigidity or in the severely you know the cold areas and to the protect their horse or protect their the, the water through their house which we are not and uh, um, so cold we are not frozen so we use this and we'll give you the press release the new products press release about this one and antibacterial products now here is a huge, huge, huge one, huge straight, two ones. It is a T. It's a uh, one six hundred and uh, six hundred thirty uh, millimeter diameter. So it's uh, it's huge. And uh, actually, in the last few days, I will give you more details about just the even larger diameter for the different kind of the pipes, but in the production line, not in the sample room. And this is the four ways and uh, four ways and uh, you know the, the high feelings we can identify while welding, by the welding, off welding, and uh, the manufacturer procedure. I will also give you the more details maybe tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow. Okay, here are some the some machines for the you know the it's for hot melt and uh, connection, uh, hot melt welding machine, welding machine. It's, uh, um, it's, it's just a, not this one. It's a masterpiece for this the outcome of this uh, connection machine. And this one is this uh, electric uh, confusion machine. Um, also, this two type of the machine, we can also produce, or we can also provide to our customers with very 
best of, uh, with the best of um, price and uh, how you use it and uh, we give you uh, the further you know the demonstration about it and here this is our the major project and uh, which was happened in the uh, in the recent years and this one is the uh, um is a water supply and the project and the uh, site in in Garu, in Xinjiang. And this one is the Yunnan um, project and the uh, which we can see is huge and the uh, diameter of the pipes. And this is the satellite and uh, uh, base areas in Jiuquan. And uh, now here is, uh, by the way, we can also export our company, um, company's products here in uh, overseas and countries such as uh, Myanmar, Angola, uh, Angola Congo, Congo, and uh, Sri Lanka, and South Africa, and India, and Australia. So here are our, the main customers here in China. So this is uh, the whole great introduction of our companies, about our companies, samples, and uh, the background, and uh, the profile knowledge of our company. So if you want to know more about the company, so now let's see our next and uh, broadcasting live show. Goodbye. No. Guys, nice to see you again. Uh, actually, we met some 30 minutes and before, and next time, uh, I will give you uh, the next, uh, you know, the, the information about our company. Now, let's take a look. Now, the first of all, uh, we will see it's a brief introduction about our company. It's a, and this is uh, the chairman and the uh, you know, the, the speech uh, is a uh, comments is here, and this here is our company's culture. It's a uh, uh, company's culture is uh, pragmatic, innovation, integrity, responsibility. And here is a brief introduction about a simple pipe. Now we will give you. Explanation about it. Uh, actually, our company was uh, uh, set. Name of our company is uh, uh, Sichuan Sengpu Pipe Company, which was founded in 1998. Um, actually, is uh, the first batch of the uh, manufacturer uh, pipeline for pipeline pipe fittings, and uh, which is specialized in new type of uh, plastic and uh, um, pipeline and pipe fitting and research and development and. Uh, um, manufacture sales and uh, project layout and installation, and we also do the import and export uh, for the raw materials and auxiliary materials, and also the machine and tools for the pipeline production and uh, other kinds of the products such as the clothes and the shoes and uh, toys and uh, uh, some other items our, com our customers may need. And uh, actually, our company is uh, controlled totally owned by Sichuan Jinan. Jinan Chuan is very famous for the wine production, which is uh, uh, began to produ produce uh, the wines and in Tang Dynasty, this emperor wine. And the register, total register cap capacity is more than 100 million yuan, and total and uh, uh, ca capital capacity is nearly 6 million yuan. And we have the three wholly owned subsidiaries, and the one is located in Tianjin. It's Tianjin Senpu Pipe Company, which is very near to the Tianjin port. And uh, you know, in that in that company, we mainly do the import and export and business for the pipeline because you know 
the pipeline is transport transportation from one place to another place. The transportation, the the distance will be very you know long, and that will take uh, so many expenses and from the customers. So uh, we choose this place. So we choose Tianjin as our you know the sister division. That will be more convenient for us to do the export business. And uh, by the way, we have the simple import and export and the trading company, uh, the, which help us to do. We're we're focused on the some uh, you know the clients and they based in uh, the foreign countries and uh, they may need something else such as the tools and machines or related with agriculture or the construction. Uh, we will provide it through this company, but this is just a trading company. So another one that is a simple construction and engineering company for that com uh, company, this is the main responsibility for that company is to undertake some uh, huge project and, uh, which will use uh, the underground, you know, the drain, the, the pipeline, you know, installation for that. Or uh, we may find some uh, cooperation in a foreign country, for example, for the South Africa. And some uh, of our customers want to cooperate with, with our, my company, but they don't have the, you know, the expertise and or they don't have the special knowledge in this uh, the field. So they want to find some country, some 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 company who can support them with the technology, uh, who can tell them how to make a construction, you know, the uh, the the pro how to make the pipeline, the whole procedure, how to train their worker, and how to construct the factory, modernize the factory just like um, the where I stand here. So in that time, and uh, that will, uh, my uh, another sister division, Sichuan Engineering Construction Company, that will take action. And uh, the total errors of the three company was uh, account to more than 16, six, uh, 160,000 uh, kilometers uh, with, uh, more, uh, with five memorialized and the production workshop and uh, equipped with more than 30, uh, 30 lines and international uh, refined you know, the production line, extrusion production line for the pipelines. And we also have the pipeline manufacturer which uh, uh, Pathfinding manufacture uh, um, the the production lines and uh, with more than 40, 24 sets and uh, the total capacity uh, for the production can shift to 120,000 tons per year. So after so many years and uh, you know industrials and uh, uh, industrials and the development, and we have also gained uh, so many the owners and uh, by the social, by our government, and also by the, our customers. Now, um, I will give you the further in, uh, details about it. Now, first of all, it's this this one. It's uh, um, the enterprises credit evaluation, which was uh, created by social, uh, China and the plastic processing industry and uh, uh, International Credit Management Co uh, Cooperates Limited. And, uh, this means that uh, our company is a really trustworthy company and really worth pay much attention to the credit of the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, for my customers and for the clients. And this one is for is a top ten, top one hundred, and uh, uh, trustworthy and uh, the credit and uh, demonstration enterprise system, which is created by the China Quality Testing Association. And this one is uh, means uh, we have uh, successively been the three years, and uh, we are top uh, one hundred and uh, enterprises in Sichuan, which is uh, strong at the. Technological innovation development and uh, research and ability. So it's also acquired by the Sichuan province, uh, provincial. And this one, um, let me give you the uh, give you strength and introduction about this one. And this is uh, made and uh, uh, actually most of some we have uh, engaged in the several you know the national. Uh, the manufacturer standards for pipes and pipe fittings. So we um, we participate in the in in a compile or auditor mm -hmm. of this uh, standard. So we uh, our company's leader um, pay much attention, great attention to the 
research and development for new technology in this two field and pipe, um, pipe feeding. So that's, and uh, we set up the long lasting and uh, cooperation re uh, strategy relationship with the Sichuan University with a post office, uh, post uh, doctor, you know, the station with the Sichuan uh, University. So which, uh, who can help us and who can su uh, support us with uh, um, you know, the, the new technology and to solve some the, you know, the materials issues or um, to, to uh, launch a new kind of the products uh, which we import from the other countries. So this uh, workstation we will invite some of the uh, post daughter or some talents or some uh, expertise in, uh, who have expertise in this field and help us to uh, do the more, you know, the project research and um, and this one also is uh, three level, yeah. And this one is uh, uh, Sichuan province and integrity demonstrate and uh, industry, okay. And uh, at the same time, uh, our company have also a uh, products have also win a lot of the win a lot of the you know the certificate about the quality. Um, now uh, here is uh, Sichuan green label for the construction materials and certificate, um, which means that uh, our company's products is free from the toxic, toxic, and uh, because we never use this one piece of the cycle material, because uh, actually as uh, you know the sales guys and uh, um, I think it is uh, uh, the price and. And the services and uh, um, and uh, this these two things is very very important. And uh, when we uh, talk and uh, some business with customers, but uh, so I made a quotation to my customers, but they always told me, "Well, Helen, your quotations is a little bit is a little bit and uh, higher than my expectation, uh, or than other kind of suppliers." But at that time, I think uh, I lost a. Uh, you know, some opportunity. So I talked to my chairman. My chairman is very, very, you know, he's a top leader in a jewelry. In a jewelry. So at that time, she t he told me, I, I think, well, why not we, we, we import some of the cycle material, we add some cycle material in the, you know, the plus in our production. But at that time, my chairman told me, well, Helen, so imagine it, you have a son, you have your family members and you have your relatives and if your children or if your parents drink some water through the pipes which contain some of the cycled material, the cycled material is from some of the wasted basin, some, you know, the wasted materials from the hospital, uh, from the hospital apparatus instruments and this kind of the product. Taxes. And so, what do you think? If you are a children, if your child, if your son, if your parents drink some of the water through this kind of the pipes, and uh, they got some, you know, diseases, and uh, so what do you think? But at that time, I really don't know how to answer it. So, I just tell my chairman, well, okay, I understand. I understand why my chairman insists on we need and we must adhere to one principle that is the top priority for simple pipe, but for simple people is a quality. Quality is our life. So we never ever use one piece of cycle material in the you know the the, the in our products, in our finished products. So that's why we bring these two certificates. It's very important and that means we are our products is free from the you know the some of the waste materials. And this one is um we win the the province, uh, Sichuan province, and the integrity and uh, trustworthy demonstration uh, enterprises, and this one, this uh, uh, is uh, means uh, my company has uh, win the top ten, the top ten famous and uh, uh, the famous brands and uh, for the pipeline industry, which was uh, created by the national, and uh, this two. Uh, it's a production license for a special equipment in People's Republic of China, and uh, we got two lessons. And uh, one is about uh, the pipe feeding, P pipe feeding, and P pipe, uh, which means and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's authorized by the you know the, the national 
by People's Republic of China, which means uh, our company is uh, uh, accepted, is, uh, is um, certificated to uh, produce at the high pressure level, you know, the pipe, pipe, pipe feedings. And this one is uh, a, uh, a credit um, authorized by the national, you know, the, uh, the system and test acts. I said a ratification, uh, ratified. I'm sorry, it's uh, Beijing is uh, um, evaluation and uh, system uh, certificate center. It's uh, about uh, the um, testing management and system rec uh, certificate and uh, testament. It's, um, it's also the three uh, A, three A level. You can see it here, it's three A level. So, and um, this one is the CQC. CQC is uh, is uh, created by the uh, China um, Quality um, um, the Center Testing Center. It's about the environmental management and uh, system uh, certificate, which means uh, we have already um, um, the the manufacturer environment is totally accordant in accordance with the national standards GB-24001-2016 uh, and this one is CQC is uh, about occupational healthy and safety management and system and uh, certificate which means and uh, we can provide with our uh, workers with uh, very safety and uh, Mm, working environment, and this is uh, management and uh, about the quality. Quality means uh, our quality uh, for the pipelines and pipe fittings can totally according uh, in accordance with uh, ISO 9001 uh, 2015. And uh, it's a three level. You know, it's a top level for the credit and uh, enterprises. It's oceanic, oceanic market certificate, which we uh, win the, some projects for the conduit, rigid conduit system um, protection, and the pipelines. And uh, when we're doing a business with Australia, and uh, this is CNES. CNES is China uh, a national accredi uh, uh, accreditation and system and laboratory. So it's uh, also means uh, our company have a uh, uh, national authorized and, uh, and, uh, and laboratory. And this rule is uh, the CE, CE certificate for the, uh, our pipeline for gas uh, supply and water supply. And this one is after sale service, we got five star, which means and uh, we are really paying much attention to the after sale services. Okay. So now let's take a close look at the, uh, the samples here. Now this one is uh, where the steel reinforced, steel belt reinforced and double work corrugated pipe. Now can give you a clear, now you can see it have the three layer, the work tube, and inner side is the steel no belt, which can reinforce the, the uh, strength of the you know the, the the pressure and take and the surface of it you know is 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 P heat. So actually this one well compared with this one it's a double work corrugated but compared with this one it's a huge one. The small one is uh it's just to do the ventilation or the sewage work pipe uh, work tube for the sewage and drainage and uh, but uh, this one is can so see the more you know, the, the pressure level compared with the small one. So now here uh, we got the brief introduction about the double wall corrugated and uh, pipe. The executive the manufacturer uh, standard is GB T one nine four seven two. And uh, the uh, diameter we can produce is from a two hundred millimeter to five hundred millimeter, and the three stiffness is. Uh, above or equal to 6.3 and uh, stiffness um, is equal or um, um, or above 8 
uh, the segment size, and this uh, normally we do the segment size as uh, six meters, but we can do the customize. Uh, if our customer need uh, nine meters, uh, we can do it also. Um, the, the feature for this kind of pipe, and, uh, first of all, is uh, light weighted and high rain stiffness. And second, it is, uh, it's very light because so it is very easy for the transportation and uh, the working, you know, the period for transportation will be short, and uh, which will cut the cost and expenses and the whole project uh, will be reduced a lot. And third, that is the uh, it's the inner side of this pipe uh, is very smooth, see? and so it will the fluid through it will not stuck will will be very high. So the first that is the uh, is any corrosion and not easy to have some slurs in the inner side of it, and, and five that is they uh, have the flexible you know the connector, which we call it the pipe fitting, and just have a better performance to anti and even sediment and. Uh, not very easy to leakage or crack or flatten. So the usage application for this pipe is uh, mainly used in the, you know, the uh, municipal uh, water as, uh, you know, the, uh, the underground and the municipal, the drainage and sewage and uh, some marine water collection and uh, water trans, uh, trans uh, you know, the supply and uh, ventilations, and uh, we also do it in the uh, telecommunication and uh, to protect the wire, uh, to protect the cable, telecom cable, and conduit. And third, that is for the you know the industry because this kind of material have a very good performance and anti acid, alkali, anti corrosion, so it can be widely used in the outdoor uh, agriculture and uh, in a tea garden. Um, also, we can improve the rural areas and uh, water supply system, and to alleviate the uh, the working pressures for the you know irrigation. And also, it can use in the golf, you know, the golf ground, golf course, and to do the drainage pipe. Okay. Now this one is a uh, steel belt reinforced double wall corrugated irrigation uh, irrigation pipe. So the executive fund for this pipe is CJ T two two five and uh, and just like this one. Okay. So this is a new product from my company at inner side is is a is a PP pipe. And uh, we got several layers and the inner side is PU which can infiltrate uh, some of the slurs or some mud and uh, uh, above the ground and also we have a drill you know the technical close uh, which also have the same effect as the inner side so when we have some of the you know the rainwater or some of the collection above the ground and uh, we will use this layer second layer first layer second layer and this one we got uh, some sleeves here so some of the you know this kind of pipe can collect is the uh, the rain water and we can reduce this and uh, for a nice time for second times. So actually in China, except for China and our countries and they're still shut up those uh, water. So we need to pay much attention to do the research and the development for new type of the energy saving and products. I think that will be very uh, welcome. And this one is a PE pipe. And PE pipe from this many used is our best selling and uh, products here in my company. So the raw materials of this PE pipe and uh, can be divided into two parts, the PE 80 and PE 100. Uh, actually, uh, we can give a close look at it. You see the, the different and the pressure level have a different thickness. So the the more the, the, the larger the diameter, the thickness, the thicker the you know the thickness. And this one has some uh, force on it, which will be used in the mining system and uh, or in an underground to collect the green water. And at the same time, you have some steeps. You have the steeps. Okay, now this is a uh, batch and confusion. And uh, on this Friday, I will give you more details about the, how this works for the bad confusion. Uh, uh, electric fusion or about and welding machine, how this works. 
So the uh, PE pipes, uh, this forename of the uh, PE is called ethylene pipes water supply. So the color of this is not really use a car, uh, black because uh, the, uh, in some cases we need to do, uh, uh, in most of the cases, this kind of pipe will be buried underground. But in some special, you know, the environment, we need to do it underground. underground. So that we give it as a color batch for black because black and contains a little, the con um, uh, um, the carbon, uh, I'm sorry, um, carbon. Uh, so the carbon have a effective to anti-violate, uh, anti the, the sun, you know, the ultraviolet. Uh, so this one is uh, have the same effective as this with this one, but different, you know, the sleep and this is for, but also to collect some uh, uh, or exclude the garbage on the outsider of the sun's uh, pipe. And uh, the features for PE pipes, and uh, the first of all, we the service life of, of our pipeline, we can guarantee the service life can achieve to 50 years because we never ever use the waste material. So that's, uh, you know, the, that can guarantee our the performance and the quality is very, very reliable. And second, that is, uh, you have a very bad, bad, uh, excellent performance to anti -cor uh, corrosion and uh, it can resist the lower temperature, which can uh, achieve to uh, enter 70 centigrade. And, and third, that is, uh, it's uh, reliable, you know, the performance for the chemical and can resist any alkali, acid, and the corrosion. It uh, have a better performance for the flexibility and anti-twisting and anti-earthquake. Um, can I give you an example? That is, uh, you may understand in 2008, uh, May 14, on that day, we have a very, very huge and, uh, you know, the, 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 the earthquake uh, which happened in Sichuan, in, in Sichuan. So some of the company, but they manufacture the pipes which contain the cycle material, the pipes will be cracked, have already cracked, and, you know, the it's totally, you know, transferred to this uh, shape. But uh, my company's uh, products uh, is uh, totally, you know, just like a new. It will not uh, happen to uh, any, you know, uh, just like a leakage or a flatten or a crack. That will never happen on my products. Because at uh, first beginning we use the best in the materials. We will have a, uh, the national laboratories to in test to test the raw incoming raw material which we purchase purchase from the pharmaceutical company, and at the same time, so when we doing the production, um, we can also do the testing for each the thickness and uh, the flexibility. And uh, when we finish the production, we will put we will send to the samples. We will cut one piece of the samples. And to send the samples to our laboratory to do the testament once again, and to test it, the, 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 the pipes and uh, seal stiffness and uh, all of around and uh, um, um, all of around and uh, you know the coefficient, and uh, also we will testing is and uh, test carbon di uh, carbon black and dispersion uh, density, uh, flexibility, any fire, any static and uh, longitudinity, uh, you know, the shrinkage, uh, longitude, uh, longitude and, uh, you know, the air break. So also the hydraulic and uh, um, pressure level in a different in temperature environment and oxidation induction time. So this kind of the coefficient will, our workers in the, in a laboratory will be the, the the very, you know, the careful uh, testament and, uh, to make sure that each kind of the coefficient and uh, standards are meet totally 100% and totally according to the national standards and then we can do the delivery to our customer's hand. Now, the next uh, is about our PPR pipes for hot and cold water installation. Now, here, the PPR actually is a uh, polypropylene. 
pipe is totally two different and uh, material compared with a PE pipe. Now PER is mainly used in the construction for the house and also for the hot water transportation. And uh, now let's take a look at it. Now this one is a PPR pipe. Now here we can see it's more lighter than PE pipe. The raw material can sustain a very high temperature, which can exceed 100 and, uh, 110. Uh, Seventy degrees, so this uh, can transfer the very hot water and very cold water. It can also sustain. Um, the, by the way, it can divide. Uh, we have the two kind of strips here. One is, yeah, uh, yellow. Uh, I'm sorry, it's blue. Another is orange. It's orange. Orange color. Color is not here. Uh, it's. Uh, in an outside the meeting room, on their side of the meeting room, because uh, some of my colleagues have had a meeting on that room. So when I finish, I will take it to you to get you a close and uh, look at the details about it. So this one is for the cold water. It's a cold water. So the we got some the laser mark here, marking here. Now each kind of products we will give it is automatically. Uh, uh, laser marking and uh, first of all is uh, 2019 uh, October 21st is a projection day and uh, some time is 1 uh, 13 past uh, 51 uh, 9 o'clock past 9 minutes uh, to uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon and the manufacturer number is A130 and checking the checking person number is A007. Wow, 007. Okay, now here is the, the performance feature for the PPR pipe. And first of all, it is lighted. It have a very good performance for the sanitation and anti-corrosion and we not stuck. And uh, it's very easy to um, installation for uh, workers to install to connection and it's uh, a good performance for the energy saving for the thermal protection it can resist the lower temperature and um, the sanitation performance is very good so which we according to the uh, the national standards gb t 17219 and uh, which is uh, good uh, uh, details and uh, um, specification about the uh, sanitation and safety um, production uh, standard. And uh, first, next, uh, that is, uh, is have the long, you know, the, um, service life compared with PEC, and it can sustain a very hot water. And uh, if uh, it's uh, highly, if it's in the uh, uh, um, appropriate and working pressure and under 70 centigrade and uh, the surface that can achieve to 50 percent uh, 50 years and it's very easy to connection for connection and to have two ways to uh, it's a hot well hot hot melt and socket to connection and the connection part and pipe field is more reliable so the outside diameter we can produce is from the 20 millimeter to 110 millimeter, and the nominal wall thickness and uh, well different and uh, you know the working pressure they have the different level, uh, uh, the millimeter for the thickness. So please don't worry if you need some pipes and uh, uh, we have an engineer will give you more details about how to select the appropriate products for your project. So please don't worry about the selection and this one is our PE pipe some uh, gasoline pipe feeding now we have the injection um, we have injection socket and uh, pipe feeding and uh, electrofusion pipe feeding uh, plastic and the steel conversion so now this is a saddle and it's a plastic and con uh, steel conversion and saddle shapes and uh, reducer and tees uh, okay. Now here I want to introduce this one. It's uh, plastic and steel conversion. 
Now one side is plastic, and our side is the plastic uh, steel. Because in China, uh, why we have this and uh, comp now this product in by uh, you know which is this company because we according to the national standards and uh, all of the gas in our gas supply um, system we can never use the, the pipes to transfer the gas natural gas and uh, um, you know with a plastic pipe above the ground. So we use the plastic uh, steel um, materials and above the ground, which can um, guarantee the people's safety. And uh, another side, underground, we can use the PE or plastic. So that's just a conversion. So that's why we have this. But before this, and, uh, we can also we use this one. We use it uh, flange and this boat, and we got to this. Uh, Connection, but um, uh, because due to the, this kind of pipe has some deficiencies, because due to the different and uh, you know the operation uh, steps and uh, operated by the different and uh, workers, maybe the connection between this one and other side uh, were not reliable after so many years and usage will, will you know the leakage or especially when you transfer the gas line gasoline, uh, gas, natural gas, is so dangerous. And uh, for an asset, it's uh, both sides of this, um, the pipe. You know, the pipe fitting for this one, one side is the plastic, another side is the third, uh, is the steel. The coefficient in thermal expansion for these two and uh, total different, which will have, uh, after several years and usage, we will have some, you know, the, uh, and stable uh, performance for the connection parts and maybe or leakage or explosion. So it's very dangerous. It has some, the, you know, the dangerous. So that's why we, we have this, we promote this kind of products because before we promote the products to the deliver to the customer's site and we have already connected these two sites in our house, in our factory. We're welding it so the leakage will never happen, so which we can guarantee it's a better performance for the connection part. So that's why we choose this one. And this is a setup, setup, and this is a tube cap, tube cap. If we want to stop the fluid here, we will use a tube cap, and uh, which the fluid will be come out all here from the other side direction of the pipes. And here are some huge ones, you know, and we have some reducer, reducer. That means we need to, uh, we, from this side, we need the, the, the lesser, you know, the fluid. So we'll uh, give it to the small diameter compared with the previous one. And uh, here is a cap, is a cap, is a tube cap, tube cap. We should just stop the tube. Okay. And uh, here are some uh, PPR pipe fittings, and it's mainly used in the uh, construction, house construction. And this is uh, now you can take a close look at it. Here has some uh, marker on it. Uh, it's sample pipe, and the DN95, then PM2.5. The and uh, it's uh, the PP pipes, P pipes, and uh, this one. Uh, different colors. One is for the cable, another for the wire conduit. Uh, so um, actually, the different the, the materials of it are totally the same. But just because we add the different and the color batch, inner side and the screen is white. So it is for the telecommunication and the wire, and the DN uh, one hundred and sixteen, uh, and it's uh, for the P material. SDR 16.6 and GB-T274.1 and uh, this one is also the uh, conduit and production. We put a wire in it and this one is uh, to the customize because some of the customers they want our the outside of the of the appearance of this pipes and should be grain and should be 
blue, black, orange, we can also totally we can accept it and uh, we can do the custom rights going to the custom requirement. And this is the T. Now let's take a close look to the T. The T, the equal T. It's uh, 630 millimeters. And this is all both. So now um, we do the valve, how to valve connecting. And this one is a huge one. You see it? It's a full waist. Okay. And some machines here is for the welding machine, it's for the electric fusion machine. And uh, on this Friday, I will give you more details about how to connect to the different um, parts of how to connect to the two uh, the parts of the pipeline together. We use a two way one is for the help mount, another is the electric fusion. So um, please and, uh, join us and uh, see you on this Friday. Have a nice day. See you later. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, nice to see you again in Sichuan Simple Pipe Company. This is uh, Helen. Uh, nice to see you here again. Uh, so, last uh, in the last uh, 30 minutes, and uh, uh, I will give you the further information about my company and also the products. Our products. I will give you the profile information about the. Each, uh, the pipelines and pipe fittings. Now let's let's uh, start. Um, as first, uh, uh, we get, uh, want to introduce my company. Um, uh, actually, my company is located in Sichuan, in Deyang City. Um, you know, the Deyang is very near to Chengdu. Chengdu is very famous for the panda and uh, the hot pot. Um, so um, actually. Um, my company is uh, specialized in the PE pipe and PP pipeline production. Actually, we're we are, uh, we are not trader, we're um, manufacturer. And also, we can manufacture the pipelines and pipe fittings. Um, the, at the same time, and, um, we have three wholly owned and uh, subsidiary and sister divisions here in China. One is located in Tianjin, another is located in Another two is located is based in Sichuan, in where I lived here. So actually, um, the three subsidiary they um, take over the um, undertake the different uh, responsibility. For example, one of them is located in Tianjin. Tianjin is very near to the Tianjin port, and that business is also help us to do the import and export. Treatings with the foreigners, and because that and the company is very near to the Tianjin port, um, so if we can do the business in the following days, and uh, most of the products will be exported from Tianjin Simple Pipe Company Limited, and another um, company is uh, Tianjin uh, Simple Import and Export and Trading Company. This company is a special one, uh, which is uh, doing the business related with the uh, tools and machines to um, product produce the you know the, the, the pipelines and pipe fittings, and also we can export and import the raw materials for PE and PDR. This kind of material can also you know do the trading business, and also. Um, uh, we, we got some uh, agent and uh, in in South Africa and in India. So actually, we also have our uh, clients in South Africa, India, and uh, Mongolia. We help them to to find the 
to find the suppliers and uh, here in China. So that company also help us to do the import and export and business training. And the third one that is uh, some in construction engineering company. And that company is uh, mm, is specialized in the construction uh, because and, uh, when we undertake some engineer, uh, I'm sorry, when we undertake some uh, project in our customers, most of our customers they don't know how to you know, install the pipes. We don't know how to lay out the 40 pipeline system. So at that time, uh, oh, our engineer and construction and uh, company will take action and uh, will help our clients to, you know, to to uh, to lay out their uh, their installation and uh, um, to lay out the how to install the pipes underground. So that company is just very is just undertake some uh, huge project and engineer project. So by the way, our company have um. Uh, was a constant. Uh, the total areas of my three company uh, account for uh, more than 160,000 uh, square meters, and we have uh, five modernized uh, production workshop, and uh, which equipped with more than 30 production line for pipe and uh, 24 set of the production line for the pipe feedings. And uh, actually, the total years and the production capacity can achieve to 120,000 tons a year. So after so many years, industrious and hard working and development, because our company was established in 1998, so we have a rich experience in this in pipeline manufacturer in this field. So after 20 years and uh, you know the uh, development, we have gained so many honors and. Uh, which authorized by the uh, by our national and uh, by our customers, um, such as that you know we are the trust and mercy uh, enterprises, and uh, we are honored for the credit, and uh, we also gain a CE certificate, and uh, we have the national uh, uh, the national laboratory. So in the following days, and I will show you to our the national laboratories and to take a close look at and uh, how we do the you know the incoming materials testing and how we do the finished goods and uh, when we deliver our finished goods to our customers. So that's a brief introduction about my company. Also um, the mainly the the product of our company can divide into five parts. And uh, first uh, that is a pipe. Um, and pipe and, uh, which is contained a PE pipe for water supply, for pipe supply, and for hot and cold water insulation, and PE pipe for underground drainage and sewage, and heat resistant pipes, PE-RT and heat resistant, and uh, GXPE pipe, and uh, drip irrigation pipe and tape, and PE conduit for cable management. Um, the antifreeze pipe, which was used in the very low temperature areas. So, also another uh, kind of product is the pipe feeding. Uh, pipe feeding, um, just like this. This one is just like uh, it's one of the pipe feedings. Let's move it. Okay. So the pipe feeding can uh, also have, we have a five parts, five and type. And one day the hot melt. Pipe feeding and the electro fusion pipe feeding, saddle shaped pipe feeding, and still um, the plastic conversion and valve valves. So we can cover the, the four sets of the uh, pipeline and the pipe feedings. And uh, so all of the different kinds of the models and different kinds of specifications we can also manufacture it. So, um, and also, we can do the raw materials in and asphalt. We can export various and have chemical raw materials produced by the domestic and the petrochemical manufacturers. We can also have customers purchase the raw material from other petrochemical manufacturers in the world. And also, at the same time, we can export um, the machines, equipment, and uh, to our foreign uh, clients. And, uh, because and, uh, last year, we have already export some the tools and machines for the pipeline uh, for the pipe feeding connection 
our pipeline connection last year to South Africa and to Angola. So we are really good at that. So the which we can provide for the machine and equipment and uh, that is contained uh, for the pipe and pipe feeding production equipment, extruder, injection molding machine, pipe connection equipment, pop mount, electrofusion valve machine. So the last one that is also related with what I have introduced, that is, uh, is about uh, the services and uh, which our example uh, construction and engineering company can provide, that is the technical services. The technical services can uh, cover uh, several know the uh, scope such as planning and designing of the pipeline, engineering, project installation, construction, professional technical cooperatives and technical consultations, consultation, professional and the personnel training and supporting technical services and we can also provide it. So for the next uh, um, uh, we'll give you the details introduction about the, the our best selling products and uh, high feedings. Now let's take a closer look at it. Now the first of all I would be um, want to talk about this one. It's a uh, it's a PE pipe. It's a PE pipe. It's uh, uh, the raw materials of, of it is a uh, is a PE. Now here we can see it is uh, the color of it is uh, is green. Uh, I'm sorry, it's blue because blue in China is marked for the, to transport the the cold water. It's for water, just for water. So we can produce it, this kind of the products and the, the diameter from it. The diameter of it is uh, DN110 and P, the raw materials of it is uh, PE100 and the pressure level is PN1.0 and uh, we manufacture it and uh, totally according to the national standard. The Chinese national standard is uh, GB-T13663.2-2018. So this is uh, our best selling products. And so we have asked uh, this kind of products to Myanmar, Angola, and Australia, and uh, in South Africa. So this is our best selling. And also in domestic, we are, have uh, uh, export. Uh, we, we we have the 37, uh, 36 and uh, branches here in China. So you can find the uh, you know the corresponding upper services and uh, uh, even uh, when you install it, if you have some uh, problems uh, about or quality issues about the products, so you can contact with the uh, the each branches in our company, which is located in several parts of China. And uh, now this one is our gas um, gas pipe. And, uh, now here we can see it have the orange, it's orange and it's straight here. So it is for the gas supply because in China, according to the manufacturer standard, uh, and uh, we need to mark it and to for people to easily recognize. And uh, if it is for uh, gas supply or for the water supply. So actually we marked it for different colors to for people to easy get easy recognize. So this kind of the products is PE pipes for water supply for gas supply. And the reference and uh, manufacturer standards is GP15558.1-2015. And uh, we can produce it in the uh, from the DN, DN means and the diameter, the diameter of the outside diameter of the pipes. We can manufacture it from DN 16 millimeters to uh, DN 600, uh, 60, 630 millimeters. And the pressure level we can achieve it to from the SDR 11 to SDR 26. So uh, it can undertake a more uh, of the uh, pressure level. An application for this product and a suitable for the transportation uh, for natural gas and liquefied petroleum gas and artificial gas and other gas with working temperature of um, under 20 centigrade to 40 centigrade and working pressure is not more than uh, you know, 0.8 MPa. So these two are our best selling products here. And for this one, now somebody will ask her why this also for gas, 
gas supply. This one is also for the gas supply, but they're different color because it's this orange color, it's yellow color, because they're the raw material of these two types are totally different. And this one is uh, the raw materials of this uh, one is uh, P18, 80, I'm sorry, and this one is P100. So we got to, we multiply two different uh, colors to, uh, to make it a difference. Okay. And uh, next, uh, I will introduce this one. It's a uh, PP pipe sport. It's a PP material. PP material is, is totally different with PE. PE material, but they all come from the petroleum. So the PP pipe uh, one is for the hot and cold water insulation. And uh, the reference standard for manufacturer for this kind of products is GB-1847.42.2. And we can also meet the ISO standard, ISO 15874-2. So the specification of this product and we can produce is from the DN116 uh, to uh, DN200 millimeters. So it is meant for a household, house and uh, building and also the construction uh, to transfer the hot, uh, hot and cold water. So it is uh, uh, mainly used for the hot and cold water transportation. The long term operating temperature is not higher than 70 centigrade, and stretch will failure temperatures up to 95 centigrade. And heating and air conditional equipment system for a stable building, and meanwhile, can be used in industrial construction, pure water, medicine, chemical, agriculture, and other places where liquids and me media are transported. Okay. So this is a more lighter than P pipe, more lighter than P pipe. So it's very easy to tra transport, transport pull, pull from one place to another place. So that will be cost lesser uh, for expenses when uh, for when the workers to install them because it's uh, easy for transportation and the sanitation. But we also need to the national standards. It's very, you know, the it's uh, free from toxic because. Um, Whenever, because maybe you're, I want to tell you something about my company's culture. My company's culture is, uh, you know, in most important of it is, is responsibility and um, integrity. Because uh, uh, before 1998, our company is, uh, is also manufactured the pipes, but we use some of the recycled material. But at that time, uh, the, we have some of the accident because um, we want to earn money. At the first beginning, our company need to survive at first and, and then. But at that time, uh, where our sales volume can uh, can be very high, but um, there have some accident and uh, some explos explosion for the natural gas transportation and uh, you know the the pipeline. So at that time, uh, our company have uh, have uh, already closed down. So. But it's a very pity because at that time we have already imposed some, the, you know, the national, uh, the world renowned and uh, manufacturer production line. But what we, the deficiency of um, of our companies is that we don't need to pay much attention to the raw material. So we use the uh, cycle materials to cost down the, you know, the the, the cost down the, the the expenses for the pipe fitting, for, for the pipes. But um, there have some you know, accident. So at that time, uh, uh, we changed another child, uh, chairman. Our chairman is from the judicial. It's from the you know just um, it's from the jury. Uh, he's a leader in the judicial bureau. So he told me uh, we need to put the uh, product quality as our top priority. So at that time, we. He instruct he he gave a the very strict and uh, you know the uh, instruction and to the our sourcing team uh, we will never sourcing we will never buy and purchasing the cycle material to use in our uh, products and uh, we need to take uh, the the topics and uh, the uh, the quality for our consumer for our customers so uh, that's why. You know, uh, so many, many uh, the 
the pipe and the ore pipe feeding manufacturer they have already uh, closed down because uh, maybe they want to do the cost down for expenses for the pipes and they want to win the more market but they will definitely have some the you know the, the some of the problems in the sequence in the following so that's why we can, our company has survived in the fierce competition in the market for more than 20 years. And uh, we, we can, we are really, really, you know, the quality is our top priority, is our life. So it is um, our chairman emphasized on. So because we use uh, the very good and, uh, you know, the raw materials, so we use uh, the the world-renowned manufacturer and, and uh, extrusion machine for production line and uh, we import from it, uh, from Germany and um, at the same time when we finish the, when we finish the production we will also take the finished products to our testing laboratory we have the national accredited uh, laboratory so uh, the laboratory we can testing the you know the the products and uh, performance performance such as uh, oxidation in induction time, the steel stiffness and, uh, and carbon black and dispersion and density and uh, flexibility and anti-fire, anti-static and um, you know, hydraulic and the pressure level and the different kind of the, you know, the, the coefficient and, uh, and we will definitely uh, make sure the product center can sustain uh, or can uh, meet the customer's uh, requirement before we send it to our customer's hand. So actually, this is a three one is our best selling products here. And uh, for this, ha uh, now this one, uh, this one is for the drainage, is uh, for the drainage and sewage, and because. Uh, we can give uh, your close look at this. It uh, contains the two layer. On the inner side is yellow part, and uh, beside it is corrugated. So this is called a double wall corrugated irrigation pipe. So uh, this kind of a pipe actually we have uh, uh, participated in the compile of the national manufacturer standard. We are you know the writer of this the national standard so we are the pioneer for manufacture for this kind of products so we have widely used in the drainage and sewage and ventilation and uh, and so many on on the so many um, kind of the scope and uh, um, water delivery and uh, it can also be used for the rural uh, water system improvement non-pressure irrigation central. So the reference standard is GB-19472.1 uh, on the specification model for the diameter we can produce is from DN200 millimeter to DN1800 millimeter. So it's uh, you know, the large diameter we can produce. So now here we have the reinforced belt reinforced about to make it can sustain a more higher pressure. So if you need to do the drainage, your sewage or uh, you want to do the ventilation and we will choose this we rec uh, recommend this kind of pipe. It's very very beautiful, very good quality. Now let's take a look at this. This one is a kind of the double wall pipe, but actually this and the, the two is just a, uh, the color batch. The is just because the color batch of these two layers are different. The outsider is blue, and the inner side is black. Uh, it's white. I'm sorry. So actually, they are totally same. The raw material is also is PPR. Uh, that's actually where. Uh, Used it for um, for the you know the the wire protection, the conduit, the sluice. So this uh, we can put a wire inner side of it, and uh, we are protection the wire uh, uh, 
free from the leakage or some the crack, you know. So it is uh, normally for the telecommunication and wire protection. Okay, the next time uh, I will give you the another the full introduction about my pipe fittings. Now pipe fittings we have several. For example, this one is uh, the pipe fitting is uh, elbow. It's a uh, forty-five degree elbow. It's uh, uh, also it is uh, for the connection of the two parts. Parts and uh, one side is from here, and other side pipe is from here. We need to do the you know transfer another direction. So we use this. It's a hot metal uh, pipe fitting. It can be used to, to connect a PE or PV pipe fitting. And pipe material and pipe fitting material have the same performance, which can effectively ensure the safety and reliability of the pipe system. This one we have the 90 degree, um, 45 degree, and T's and uh, four way T's. So for this one. And uh, next is for the electro fusion pipe beating. And in addition to advantages, how to mount and pipe beating, it has better reliable ability. And electrician pipe beating are less affected by the external environment and human factors during the construction. With a constant diameter and low flow resistance, the electro fusion pipe beating has the strength of labor and time conserving which mainly using the get pipeline connection and pipe rescue. So this one, uh, actually on this Friday, I will give you the more details on exactly how does the, the, the hot melt and electric fusion uh, pipe fittings, how does it work and how does this get connection. So I will give you the, the full procedure of the operation. So if you are interested, and, uh, let's send uh, um, see, um, let's meet on this Friday, Friday afternoon. Uh, this one is a pipe fitting. Pipe fitting edge, we, we, in the inner side of it, so we have the, you know, the wire in the inner side of this, uh, the pipes, a uh, pipe fittings, and each side, now here you can see, here is a connection, uh, is a floor, and you can put the uh, the tools, uh, one from here, one in here, another in here, and then we give it electricity, so it will melt for both sides. Uh, the melting it, and uh, which can make the surface of the pipe line to cling to the, you know, adhere to the the inner side of this and uh, pipe feeding. So it's uh, it's 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 mainly used in the the gas uh, gas pipeline connection and pipeline rescue. So now this is uh, this one is mostly asked by my customers in the exhibition. Most of my customers will ask about well, uh, what's this and how does it work? Uh, actually it is a uh, um, steel and plastic conversion. The fit is made of steel pipe and one hand and uh, plastic material and the other hand, which mainly used for the conversion of heat, the steel pipe and plastic pipe. Because, uh, for example, uh, for another side, I, I want to add, add a lawsuit for the horse. So, so at this time, I, I, I need to use uh, the steel part. Another pipe and. Uh, it's just a connection to the pee pipes for water supply. So it's uh, the perfect and uh, to solve the problems of the different type of materials for both sides. Uh, so this one is really, you know, the smart one. So the last uh, you see, this is the T, the equal T. Each kind of face there is also different. Uh, and the last uh, is a bow box, and I'm sorry I didn't take uh, some post because somebody is just meeting uh, in the meeting room. My samples left in the meeting room, which in, in my neighbor, so they are still have a meeting. So after 30 minutes, and uh, we will see you here again. See you. Bye bye. Have a nice day.